These cowboys were a lot tougher than, uh, than I had ever imagined. I was doing a roping in just a small town outside of Albuquerque in Berlin, New Mexico. And this father and son were there, and the father was quite old. And he had roped this cow, and there's a thing called a dally. So you rope the cow, you pull out the slack, and you take the rope around the saddle horn, and then you turn the horse. And all of this takes place in about three seconds. So the, the, you want to keep your thumb up. But a lot of times, in the excitement of all of it, you get your hand down. And if the rope gets around your thumb, when it hits the end of the 600-pound cow, the thumb is gone. Wow. And so this cowboy did that, <laughs> and half his thumb was hanging off. <laughs> and his son didn't see that right away. And he turned around, and by the time he turned around, the dad had pulled out a knife, lopped off the rest of the thumb, and threw it at the dog in the corner of the arena. And the son said, Dad, are you crazy? Doctors can fix that now. Jumps off the horse and chases the dog for about 10 minutes trying to get the thumb back <laughs> and uh, was unsuccessful. But, uh, wow. you know, I certainly don't think I could do that. No. And that, but I was very, I was always, I'll never forget that story. I am not surprised you won't forget that story. <laughs> Back to school, people would be laughing at me and I would realize that um, during the night they had put makeup on me. Um, and when they were being particularly cruel, they would make it, like, really subtle. Okay. Um, how did you get your bad back, Howie? Um, oh, <laughs> I so many times. Um, I don't know, really. I think I've won my we? legs. Would you like